Hey guys, it's Ayin. Today, we are unboxing and doing a short review of the Shure Podcast Microphone MV7. Let's get started! Here's the microphone box. On the back, there's some of the features. Voice isolation technology, auto level mode, live stream ready, customizable sound signature, real-time headphone monitoring, touch panel control, Manfrotto Pixie Tripod included. Okay, let's open this. Welcome to Better Sound. Why, well, thank you, sure. Let's see what we have inside. Manfrotto Pixie Tripod. This is a good quality tripod. Let's put that aside. Let's open the other box. This is the quick start guide to get us started. For ultimate control, download the free Shure Plus Motive Desktop app from shurecom slash motive desktop. I might just do that later. Warranty and more paperwork here. What's in this box? It's cables. Micro USB to USB C and micro USB to USB A. What's this in the corner? Um, looks like a mount adapter. And this is the Shure mic itself. Let's take this out. This is heavy metal, it's actually quite weighted. I'm just gonna pull out the windscreen and see the mic. Mm. At the bottom, there's an XLR output, so you can hook it up to an audio interface. I don't have a preamp or anything like that, so I'll be using the USB instead. And right here, there's also a headphone jack. The mic also comes with this adjustable yoke, so you can mount it on tripods, mic arms, and have flexible placement options. There's a touch panel in the middle here, but we gotta hook it up before we can try this out. Let's do that now and see how it works. So, from this point on, we are using Shure Podcast Microphone MV7. I just plugged it in via USB and started using it. How does it sound? Leave a comment below. I also installed the Shure Plus Motive app to control some of the features. Let's look at the manual tab. Some of these features are also on the touch panel here, like mute, where's mute, here. Did it work? Did you hear me? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> ooh, this is mic gain, so, so if I go here, and select mic, which is the green light. I can move my finger across the touch panel and increase or decrease the mic gain. Like that. So you can see it move on the app as well. See? I can also touch this icon here to select headphones which shows orange lights and then adjust the volume in my headphones the same way. Just move it up or down. There's also a lock option up here on the app so that you won't accidentally change the settings when you're moving the mic around. There are other settings here that if you know what to do, you can adjust to make the audio better, but since I'm not an audio pro, I'm just gonna use the auto level settings here. Most USB mics are condenser mics, but Shure MV7 is a dynamic mic, which means it has to be closer to your mouth when you speak. But if you have to be more than a hand's length away from the mic, you can select the mic position to far, which will help the mic capture your voice better. This right here is the tone. It's kind of cool to hear the subtle changes in your voice. So like natural is how you naturally sound like normally. 
and then dark kind of makes your voice richer and nicer when you speak into the mic kind of like a radio voice you know and then bright kind of gives you that perky sound so there we have it i really like the sound from this mic i love that you don't really hear background noise and my voice is still pretty clear this is perfect for podcasting and streaming i'm going to mess with the motif app to get better sound later and if you want to hear the results come visit me on my stream if you want to know more about the Shure MV7 mic and other Shure products, check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching!